me uh, be a little more uh, direct to the question, um, which is, how do you propose we best close this gap? And with all due respect, uh, uh, I would uh, state that uh, the real pressing question is, uh, are the people that I've talked to as I've uh, knocked on doors, and their concern is they haven't had a job for the last year or two. Jobs are at a premium today. This is a critical issue that we must deal with here and now, and to uh, uh, to you know put it off in, in another uh, direction. Uh, education is a very important area, but it is really not the question at hand. The question is, due to the rising cost of living and sinking income levels, we have problems of sinking income levels and the cost of living continuing to climb. Many, many people are being caught in that. And, and what I've found in the last two, uh, four years, um, in the legislature in particular, are policies that are driving the cost of living higher and higher and higher, and driving business out of business. I have a chart here, and I know it's fairly small, but uh, frankly, the, uh, if this was prepared by the uh, Legislative Council staff, and it's changes in number of jobs in Colorado's private and public sectors since January of 2008. And it shows that the public sector jobs have actually grown in that time period. The private sector have dropped almost 175,000 jobs. That's the problem we have before us today. We need policies at the state government that, that encourage business to do good business, healthy business, so that we can have good, solid jobs. We've also got to stop passing more and more laws that drive the cost of living higher and higher. Every year, we've seen multiple bills that drive up the cost of medical insurance. We saw the car tax last year that is an extremely regressive tax that penalizes the poor. We see, well, this, this year there was a rent control bill. It was a limited one, but it was kind of the, like the camel's nose under the tent. Um, that sounds like it's addressing the needs of the poor, but it's driving up the cost of housing for all, including the poor. We need policies that help people limit the cost of living and increase their income levels. And that is what I've done, and if I'm uh, blessed to have a majority on my side of the aisle, we'll get it done in the coming years. Thank you.